In today's video, we're taking a look at several ways to terribly misuse toilet paper. You get mad at me for buying weird stuff on Amazon. <laughs> All right. This one wasn't even my, my suggestion. Our camera guy, Mark. P.S. Mark is back, guys. Uh, so excited to have him back in the studio. But Mark found on Instagram not too long ago this giant roll of Charmin toilet paper. Supposedly, this will last a whole family a month before you have to change rolls. Or a few hours if you have a Nate. So we've got a lot of different brands today because I kind of wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison because this is a this is a Walmart brand, but six mega rolls equals 24 regular rolls, and then there's actually Charmin, I believe. Again, same thing. It says that each one of these should equal 24 regular rolls. So I want to unspool them side by side. Is generic any better than Charmin? I'm just curious because cost is gonna be different. Some people care about cost, some people just go find the cheap stuff, some people are like, no, I'm determined to only use one brand. So this six is the same as 24 regular rolls, that means that one of these rolls is four regular rolls. I don't feel like I've ever just seen a standard one regular roll, unless that's know. this, but like, I mean maybe, because this, you can see how much this compresses, it's like wrinkled slightly, and so it just like, loses a lot of volume, but. I actually had, like, I went to lengths to try and find the cruddiest pack of toilet paper I could find, and that one seemed decent. Let's take our low quality stuff. No, let's no. take our <laughs> medium, our bigger Walmart brand and then our Charmin brand and let's just compare length of toilet paper, I guess. Yep, I also have the uh, the Ooh, Mega Angel Rolls Soft. Angel Soft. Oh, he got very excited about that, guys. That says 480 sheets per roll. It does, but, but four But it also mega... says two ply, so is that like 480 two ply or 480 included? Right. I don't know. We're just gonna go and roll, unspool all these across the lawn and see what happens. Here's the basic idea. We have several different brands and several different kinds of toilet paper, and we have several different experiments that we want to try with them. I don't know what we've got from left to right. Yeah, You've got they're, a label. they're pretty out of, this is a Walmart brand. That's Angel Soft. Angel Soft. The butterflies. That's the Scott brand. That's the single ply. I think it's uh -huh. the only single ply we have. Charmin two ply and the super cheap stuff. All right. That doesn't even have a brand name on you it. You have no idea also what it is. Ply. All right, we're just gonna start unrolling these. One at a time. One at a time? Well, I mean, I don't. All right, yeah. I, I don't, yeah, I'm normally doing one at a time. I'm just gonna just unroll it, and when I get there, I'm just gonna Keep come going. on back. All right. <laughs> I think you're gonna win. It's a race. <laughs> oh, that actually worked quite well. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, the wind. <laughs> a very, very slight bit of wind <laughs> ruining everything. Hang on, this isn't gonna be fair if I can't even line mine up right. No. All right, there's a rock holding this, right? It's a small rock. It's fine. And I'm done. Next one. Wait, yeah, that one's actually empty? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That cheap stuff is cheap for a reason. And it moved way too far. There we go. Now it's back. All right. Ah. Angel Soft coming your way. <laughs> Mine tore a little bit. No. Mine did too. Mine tore a lot of it. I'm gonna try and tie it together. That's not cheating at all. This wind is everything we ever wanted. If you keep it low to the ground, it's not as bad. Oh man, that's like exactly twice almost. How did you end yours here? I uh, just turned around. No, this last one is the Walmart. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Walmart almost twice. Yeah. What's this one? That's Angel Soft, and it made it back almost three quarters of the way. Then our single ply Scotch. Scott, Scott, it, that went Scott. there back. I keep saying Scott, there Scott. and two thirds of the way back, so almost four <laughs> laps. This was Charmin. It didn't even make it once and a half. And then the Cruddy brand, which is gone now, didn't even make it once. The Walmart brand actually, with being double ply, honestly might be the best buy here. Unless, of course, you just don't we mind using Scott. We have to Scott. compare to the prices and everything That's to figure true. out what actually yeah. is the worth. But for just going for length, length based on like, oh, this size of roll. Now, that is kind of the point is like there are mega rolls that uh -huh. are bigger and have more on them than our standard. Single roll. Single, whatever that standard single <laughs> roll was. I don't know what it is. That just got like halfway across the yard. It's like, all right. 
you'll barely make it a week on that. All right, have you seen those videos? They're like, they were vines a long time ago. I don't know if I've seen anybody do it on TikTok since then, but somebody would sneak into a airplane toilet and they would hold onto a roll of toilet paper and then flush. And the roll just disappears in like five seconds. Now we don't have an airplane toilet here and it seemed like a really bad idea to sneak on an airplane and do this, but we do have something that could maybe emulate that speed and force. We've got the shop bag. I like it. <laughs> Let's try this. All, All right. right. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and what happened? Oh. <laughs> there it goes. There is an entire roll of cruddy toilet paper. It worked paper. all right. Yeah. I want to try it. So this is the thousand foot single ply roll. I'm not sure if this isn't just going to break, especially because this... It might just tear apart. Well, and this particular, the toilet paper roll itself has a... A little damage. All right, ready? Ready. Go! <laughs> I can oh my gosh, to see that footage. <laughs> Go. <laughs> it's doing tricks. Whoa! <laughs> that one just veered real that quick. That was the tiny roll. Okay. <laughs> what have you done? It's too plugged. There's too much toilet paper right here at the front. It's no longer pulling anything more into the machine. So that was one mega roll, a small cruddy roll, or I'm sorry, a small crappy roll, and a little over half of another mega roll. That is quite packed. So there is a terrible use for toilet paper that is very commonly done. Spitballs. Spitballs. Can we make the world's largest spitball? I think we Maybe can at least make <laughs> the world's best launched spitball. I think we should see if we can use our t-shirt cannon to fire a really big spitball really fast. You <laughs> get a bucket, I'll get a bike pump. And you're gonna be the target. We can talk about that. All right. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I needed to shred it or if I could just start stuffing it in. But honestly, just putting it in in whole handfuls is working great because it starts to actually disintegrate on its own. The reason it does that is toilet paper is actually made with incredibly short fibers so that it does just sort of fall apart and not clog up your drains. I don't know how big you want these blobules to be. That looks like it might be about right. Cool. <laughs> Start with that, see how it works out. Cool. Three, two, one. More of a shotgun than a rifle. <laughs> I want to shoot it the other direction and see what kind of distance we get on it. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is a way to just get the whole yard at once. Yes. All right, I got one more thing I want to try. Three, two, one. <laughs> nice. And holy cow, that had a lot of kick to it. Oh. Water doesn't like to move very much. It's non-compressible. That thing just <laughs> gut punched me. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh no, we have to clean that up. Yes, we do. So recently you showed me a video on YouTube of a guy who made a toilet paper gun. Who was that? Yes, no idea. Lots okay. of people have done it, but I think it's been done by a few different prank channels especially. Pretty fantastic. So you take a leaf blower and you connect with a wire, a roll of regular toilet paper to the end of it, and you turn the leaf blower on, and it goes everywhere. And I was thinking, this may be the fastest way to TP a house ever. It's possible. Ah! So you use a fan that's meant for like drying out an entire basement at once. <laughs> what 
did you name this again? The TP-Matic 5000. Okay. Just let it get up to speed a little bit. Ugh. There we go. We that's, should do all three. That's a good amount of TP. No, we're not even halfway done. For the done. amount of time we put into it, that's yes, a good amount of TV. That's fair. That was less than two minutes. Something like that. Here you go. Do you think that when Charmin invented these giant rolls, they thought that this is what was going to be used I think for? this is exactly what they thought they'd Charmin, be used for. Charmin, we love you. This was a wonderful idea. <laughs> no, no. Fine. I personally have never felt more elegant. Gotcha. Some people use toilet paper seated. Some people use toilet paper standing. Neither group seems to know that the other group exists. <laughs> I had no idea. Guys, that was a lot of fun. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Go ahead and click that box up to see our latest video and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you then.